I'm in the ghetto. Ratatata. Ratatata. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And this is probably going to be a very short Real Housewives of Potomac review. I really don't have that much to talk about, uh, um, except, you know, of course, Candace's mama. Um, before we get started, um, I have a second channel that I just created the other day. Y'all making like I just did something that can't nobody else do. I created a channel, y'all. Anyways, I have a second channel. I have a second channel called Long Winded Cousin. Um, y'all know the girls are quick to snatch up the girls' channel, so I just felt like it would probably be best if I had a plan B, just in case any if anything happened to this channel. Um, again, on the second channel, I'm not going to really talk about hot topics or reviews. That's what this channel is for. I'm still, just to be honest, I'm still trying to decide what lane I want to go down with the second channel. Um, but I do know that I won't be talking about hot topics or um, like things that I would normally talk about on this channel. I'm not going to talk about on that channel. I may tell, that may be more of story times. I may, you know, do a little bit of vlogging. I'm not sure. You know, vlogging is kind of hard to me. Um, you know, stuff like that. When I go out of town, you know, you can, you know, walk down the street me, street, street with me, whatever. I don't know. I'm still deciding. Um, but again, the second channel is Long Winded Cousin. I'm going to put the link in the description box. I would love it for you to go over and um, subscribe to the channel. And then, of course, um, I'll let you guys know when I post the first video. It'll probably be sometime this week. I have an idea of the first video I'm going to um, probably post, um, but I still haven't decided if I want to post it or not. But anyways, so let's go ahead and get into the Real Housewives of Potomac. All right. So I should have known when I saw them crochet braids and Candace Mama head that she was going to be up to no good. As soon as I saw her on the camera screen, and I saw those crochet braids from 2001. Not even 2001, because we was wearing crochet braids. The girls was wearing crochet braids in 97, 96-ish, <laughs> you know, middle school. Whenever I, whenever I was in middle school, girl, that's when the girls was wearing crochet braids. Um, so when I saw that crochet hairstyle, I knew something was up. So she come in already complaining, nitpicking that stuff. This is a couch for a first homeowner. No, it's not. Um, <sighs> Mia, I'm really trying to like pace myself because I know once I get started on Candace Mama, it's gonna be the end of the review. <laughs> um, Mia is having a uh, conversation with her husband. Um, about Candace. Um, it seemed, it didn't seem like too messy of a conversation, I'll be honest. It was more so, you know, about when my husband was my manager or tried to manage me, it didn't work out great, blah, blah, blah. I think that a lot of us, um, not a lot of us, I think that some of us would agree that it's not good when your husband, I need to turn this TV off because I keep looking at it. Hold up. Um, it's not good when your husband is your manager. We've seen example, example after example after example of from the Wendy's to the, um, uh, what's her name? Um, Mary J. Blige. It just doesn't work out well. Um, but anyways, Karen. Karen, you know, I'm going to give Karen this much. Karen might be telling the truth about her candle line. I don't know anything about how long it takes to create a candle line, but for her to already have that candle with her, she says she's been working on it for the last year and a half. I'm going to say I believe Karen. Like, again, I don't know how, how much it takes to start a candle line or to create a candle, but I'm sure you have to have some type of money, right? And I don't know. I'm just going to say I believe Karen. I don't think that she started this candle because at first I was like, this has to start this candle line because of Wendy. But I do believe that she probably, this was probably something that was already in the works. Um, Wendy has a conversation with Eddie 
um, about her candle line. I thought Wendy looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, she, you know how, <laughs> let me stop talking about people's husbands because I don't feel like slapping shit out of Wendy and fighting Eddie because I keep talking about how fine Eddie is. Girl, your husband is fine, girl. If you don't want him, I slam dunk him tonight. Girl, that's for the old school hoes. Girl, y'all don't know about that. Anyways, um, no, but for real, um, I thought Wendy looked absolutely gorgeous. Um, Eddie, uh, she, he was there to support her, I guess, in this, like, mock presentation. I don't know. Um, Michael, I thought about this. And then when I saw somebody say it on Twitter, I said, that's what it is. Do y'all think that Michael is trying to get into the porn industry? For some reason, I think that's what it is. Because they're putting too much like, when she brought up the fact that he wanted to get into the movie industry, it's like everybody started looking like, huh, what? And then the music in the back. I don't know. I just feel like Michael may be trying to get into the porn industry. I mean, anyways. Um, Robin and Wong go look at a space. <sighs> Candid. You know what? I'm tired. Girl, I'm, I'm here. Girl, the episode was, girl, the episode was bullshit. Let's talk about Candace, mama. Girl. I don't know how Candace deals with her mama. I really, really, really don't. I was watching the episode and I was getting pissed off every time Dorothy got her ass on my TV screen and started running that trap of hers. I was getting pissed off and pissed off and pissed off. I do not understand how your mama can be your biggest enemy. Like in real life. Like it's one thing for like Mama Joyce not to like Todd or to, you know, like, I saw people comparing Dorothy to Mama Joyce, and I don't even think that that's a fair comparison for Mama Joyce. Because at least with Mama Joyce, Mama Joyce don't play about candy. Or at least she don't play about candy money. Hello? But I, I don't remember Mama Joyce always throwing candy under the bus. Now, she might step out of line and, you know, say things like candy turn lemon into lemonade while she was talking about Todd. So we're not going to sit here and say that, that Mama Joyce ain't never gotten out of line. You know, and that still can put strain on Candy's marriage. But I don't think that she's ever thrown Candy under the bus. And she ain't never told Portia or Phaedra none of Candy's business so them hoes can run back and use it against her. Like, the simple fact that Mia even felt comfortable asking Dorothy about Chris and whatever business arrangement that Chris and Candace have, I'm not even mad at Mia. Mia know that Dorothy is messy as fuck. That's why she felt so comfortable asking her that. Because I guarantee you, they wouldn't ask Mama Joyce shit about candy. But the reason why these ladies can come up to her from Robin, right? Because Robin, your ass was being slightly messy too. And see, this is the thing, right? This is why I go so hard for Candace because I know that can't. well, now I do. I know that Candace doesn't, people don't treat Candace fairly. And as messy as Mia is, and as, as much as I don't blame Mia, we still not going to act like Mia wasn't out of line. So when Candace come and chop your ass off at the knees, I don't want nobody talking about Candace doing, she got all that motherfucking mouth, let me go get Monique. Girl, let's go get Robin for Monique, because we already know who going to get Monique to run it. But my whole thing is, I don't want to hear none of that shit. Mia now has the gun and the ammunition to use against Candace at the reunion or whenever they get into it because your messy ass mama gave her what she needed. So now all she got to do is say, Mother, bitch, please, your man ain't even got no fucking job. The word on the curb is from Dorothy Avenue, right? The street of Dorothy. She let us know that the nigga quit his job after y'all got married. And he got some little side gig, some bullshit to say he's just bringing in some coin. Robin over there being messy. Giselle, what well, I want to know too. 
That's y'all fucking problem. And see, that's the thing, right? Giselle, you want to be so messy, but as soon as somebody bring up Jamal and the way he slangs his dick from Baltimore to Atlanta, then it's a fucking issue. Now, when Candace started reading Mia and that old ass man who she said was breaking her back out, right? And, and made her go get her vagina rejuvenated. I don't want to hear nothing. When Candace started slicing and dicing um, Robin and Juan, I don't want to hear nothing. When Candace started slicing and dicing Giselle, I don't want to hear nothing. Karen, you were being slightly messy too. Did y'all hear her talking about, come on, come on. Like the simple fact that Dorothy even was like, I know I'm wired. Like, I mean, I know we're might. I know we're might. But I'm still going to say what I want to say. Dorothy is trash to me. Sorry, Candace. If you see this video, and I know you told me your mama watch, your mama watch my videos, she's not going to watch after this, which is completely fine. My loyalty is to my cousins and not to y'all. Sorry. <laughs> your mama is trash, girl. And she's not going to be happy until you ain't with Chris. Now, let me just say something, okay? Now, let me say something. Because I be talking a lot of shit. Do I think what Chris doing is just some yang, yang, yang around the house to say he bring in some money? Yeah, I do. I do believe that. But the simple fact, I should not, I should not be hearing that shit from your mother, his mother-in-law. That's some shit that I... That, that's the type of shit that we should just be saying, like, girl, Chris probably ain't even got... Girl, it's probably some shit he's just doing just to say he bring in some money, right? The little cooking classes online, they probably ain't bringing in shit. Not for the lifestyle they try... Not for the lifestyle they're trying to live. That's some shit that we should be able to say, but not know factually, right? But, girl, pretty much, Candace mama, she kind of pretty much letting us know that... Girl, that's just a little income. It ain't shit. Basically, Candace retiring her husband just like what's her name did. I just did not. When I tell you I was so mad because I already feel like Candace, again, is treated unfairly. And now you have her mama on TV giving the people that don't like her, the viewers, and these hoes on the show that don't like her, the gun and the ammunition to just pop, 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 just bang, just blow her fucking head off. Couldn't be my mama. Couldn't be my mama. Couldn't be my mama. Baby, she would be, baby, cut off. Until you can learn, until you can learn how you will treat me, until you can learn what you will open your mouth about and what you will not open your mouth about, you can say the fuck up out of my face. See, y'all gonna have to get to the point where you have to realize mama or not, daddy or not, we all fucking grown. That's how I know, that's how I know a lot of y'all just be talking shit when y'all be like, oh, even Candace's mama popped up in the face. Girl, as many people as, many people as I see online scared of their mamas at 40 and 50 and 60, But there is going to have to be some lines drawn. And I get at once upon a time, Candace probably was dependent on her mother, you know. But now it's to the point, Candace, you got your own money. You got your own money and you don't need your mama. I do not understand. When I said I was so pissed off, I was like, ooh, uh-uh, Candace. Ooh, uh-uh. Like, these girls, again, these girls feel comfortable talking to your mama and asking your mama the questions because they know your mama is messy as fuck. And they know that your mama gonna tell them and give them everything they need. So when, so when mad day come, they got enough ammunition, the girl, to run your relationship with your husband in the motherfucking ground. Now, bitch, like I said, when Candace come back and start chopping them hoes off a meal for sleeping with that old ass 80 year old man, when she starts chopping Juan off and Robin off and girl, Giselle, girl, I don't want to hear nothing about Candace got too much mouth. She better have some mouth. Bitch, I, bitch when I tell you, bitch, I will wear Mia and that old ass man out. 
The last bitch who can talk about somebody is a bitch who had the girl was pulled from a motherfucking sh strip club after selling pussy. Hello? Because Quad is just kept it for one, that, for one for that old ass nigga who's on his fourth marriage. Because me a bitch, I ain't forgot you said that you met him while he was married to his third wife. So we could talk about marriages and relationships and how we met our husbands if you want to. And Robin, the only reason why I want us with you is because he's comfortable. Bitch, pretty much is cheaper to keep him. He know you're going to deal with the bullshit, right? He know you're going to deal with the bullshit. This bitch ain't going nowhere. I can go out here, coach, get some pussy on the side. This bitch ain't going nowhere. She been, she been here this long. This bitch was with me when we ain't had no fucking running water, okay? This bitch, said, this bitch stood right beside me when I was a man of the house and couldn't even get no water coming through the motherfucking faucets. You think she going somewhere now? Girl, girl, them hoes is an easy read. Girl, the relationships, all of it, trash. Anyways, and girl, we don't even want to get started on Giselle. I thought the little scene with her daughter, Grace, was very, very cute. I will give Giselle this much. Anytime I see her with her daughters, I think that Giselle does a great job with her daughters. Um, other than that, girl, I was about to say Mama Joyce. Candace, Mama, Miss Dorothy, girl, you're, other, you, you're like trash, girl. I don't know why you don't like your daughter, but clearly you don't like Candace. Because if you like Candace, you would not do the things that you do, especially on TV. Like, it wouldn't even cross your mind. Like, as soon as Mia even asked you some shit about if Chris got paid, you should have cussed that bitch out on the spot. And then had her excused from the, from, from the set. I need somebody to escort her away. And I guarantee you, Candace wouldn't have gave two shits. That's how you should have handled that. But no, it's... oh. And the simple fact that you sitting here telling can't like in real life, you sitting here telling Karen Candace business, and you know Candace don't fuck with Karen like that. Because you are the one on the phone telling Candace basically watch out for her. Or don't trust her. Remember like the very first episode of the day, not the first episode, I think it was a day that Karen was supposed to come over to Candace's new home. And Dorothy was on the phone, like, watch out for her, don't, don't trust her. So you know. What's going on between Candace and Karen? And for you to run your fucking trap to her out of all the people? Bitch, you are out of line. Well, <laughs> I get I thought I, I thought I thought I had I thought I had a celebrity endorsement from from Candace. Looks like she ain't gonna she, <laughs> she said, "Oh, mama, love my videos, girl." I bet she gonna be like that fucking punk. I don't give a fuck. Because everything I said is the goddamn truth. Well, it's my opinion, but it's still the truth. <laughs> all right, y'all. Let me go in here and wash my ass and get ready for work. I'll talk to y'all later. I'm going to um, probably make a couple of videos in the car um, before I walk inside the building. And then I'll watch Real Housewives of Salt Lake, Salt Lake City when I get home. I tell you, baby, Candace, mama had me hot. And I ain't, thank God, I ain't never went through no shit like that with my mama. Praise God. Anyways, bye y'all. Oh, one last thing. I did think that a scholar and I thought that uh, Wendy will fly as hell at the video shoot. I thought Robin looked cute. Giselle looked a hot ass mess. I thought Mia looked cute. Uh, Karen was cute. I thought everybody looked cute, but I thought Scala and Wendy nailed it. Um, I thought that Wendy was funny as hell when she said, when she asked, when when, when Mia asked Wendy um, Dorothy um, how old she was, and Wendy said, if you would ask my mom, my mom would have been like, girl, worry about how, don't worry about how, how old I am. Worry about how you look. Hello? And when she went and told Candace about Mia, at first I was like, you should have waited to tell her because she probably already under a lot of stress anyways. But I don't blame her. I don't blame her. And for Robin to be like, damn, Wendy girl, Robin, as much as your face stay in Giselle's pussy, I know you need to shut the fuck up. 
As much, as much as you are literally walking around here with Giselle's pussy juice on the top of your lip, I know you ain't saying shit. I'm about to get started again. Girl, I said I was going to run in here and just say who I thought was cute at the video shoot and who looked the absolute disaster, which was Giselle. Girl, this bitch had on the visor, a gold thick chart. Girl, Giselle, where ain't you going? <laughs> anyway, y'all, that's it. I'll talk to you. What she said? Girl, bye, y'all.